Hello everyone, welcome to this week's plan with me. This is for the week of March 28th through April 3rd and I am using the Viscount kit which is for the second season of Bridgerton and this spread turned out so beautifully. I know a lot of people used this kit the week previous but I actually didn't have time that week to watch Bridgerton so I watched Bridgerton this week and decided just to swap the weeks in my planner just because I don't know I guess it made sense in my brain and also I didn't have anything really pertinent going on otherwise this week so I did pull out a color of the week also a freebie that went out with some of Kane's orders if you receive an order from him you may receive a Scroll Prince Co. freebie in there. I also brought in silver foil. I have some quote boxes, some underlays, some uh, a foil bundle. Those are from Caress Press and um, Planna Hannah. And I am mixing these two foils together. I actually did change my mind kind of like as soon as I sat down to film this. And I was like, wouldn't it be really pretty to use blue with this? along with the silver and I used a very minimal amount of the blue but I think it looks really pretty mostly because I wanted to use blue like on the bottom washi and some like icons and stuff but I think it turned out so pretty and it also helped break up some of the butterfly because while I do love the butterfly I didn't want it like everywhere so I think that was a really nice way to do that and to be able to bring in some other um other foil elements outside of silver but I just love the way that this spread turned out this week wasn't super eventful um I was mostly working because I know the next week I had well I was going to Disney so I had to kind of get ahead so I had to do two weeks worth of work in one week's time and it was quite challenging but definitely worth it so yeah, let's go ahead and start talking about the days because I'll probably catch up to myself. I do have, I think, one or two extenders in here, which I do have a video on extenders if you want to see more on that. But let's go ahead and talk about the day by day. First of all, I my allergies are so bad right now. Um, since I've gotten back from Disney, the like oak in Austin, whenever I got back, was like extremely high and now it's just high. We're all just wiped. I've tested for, you know, COVID like 17,000 times and it's not it. And I even made Nick go get tested and also TT was tested like at doctors and nada. But it's just like a headache and like a little bit of a stuffy, like stuffy congestedness. But allergies always knock me down. It's just crazy because like Austin allergies, I don't know if anywhere else has allergies like these, but... The one year I thought I had mono, like in 2018, I think. And then 2019, I thought I had an ear infection. And like, it's just always a really fun time. And I always go to the doctors and they're like, yeah, it's allergies. So we went outside for TT's birthday party and I pretty much bathed in pollen because I felt pretty good that day. And then the next day it was like, no, ma'am, you should not have done that. So now I learned my lesson, stay inside, don't. Don't go outside. The pollen is too much, but hopefully it goes down soon and I don't sound like this for forever. It'll probably be like next week. I'll be fine. So like I said, this is the week before we went to Disney. So it was a lot of working. I didn't mark work every day, but I was working like every day, all day long. On Monday, I put in that we had to go to work. Well, I had to go. To oh, the other thing I did this week is I did this like layering technique that I saw Hannah do and I think it turned out super cute where basically I did blue bougie boxes from the Caress Press bundle and then I did every other like a mixed of the floral and the music notes from Planet Hannah and the silver. I think it turned out really cute. I think I wish I would have did the blue on top though because I think you missed the blue a little bit for this pattern in particular but I think it turned out really cute. I'm probably going to be doing that more often. I mean, as extra as I can get, I will do. So like I said, on Monday we went to work. We had junkers come because we had like a lot of trash. And then uh, we went to culinary drop out for lunch, which isn't my favorite ever, but Nick really likes it. But we had the pretzels this day and those were actually really good. Usually I just get a salad, um, but we went there for lunch and then I worked in my home office all day. This day I was doing doodles. I had to do, I think, 
30 and then three colors of the week, which took me most of the day to do it all because I also did the listing photos and stuff like that. So, and the files. So I sent those over to Kirsten to have those done. Uh, but that took me all day this day from when I, we got home and then um, we played with the boys and then I started watching Bridgerton this night. I think I only watched one episode and then I was like, all right, I am ready for bed and Lila was super cranky. So I was like, let's just call it a night. I'll watch another episode tomorrow. I, oh, I did put on the sidebar that next week we're going to Disney and then I also put in that I was just working a lot. Um... Also put in I was annoyed with Nick this night for what I don't remember. On Tuesday, it was a boring day because I just worked so much and I just worked so much this week to get ahead. Um, we got our delivery, or actually I think that's our final furniture delivery that we have. Uh, well, actually Theo's bed's coming in June, which is really exciting, his big boy bed. But um, we had ordered these chairs when we ordered our couch. And the couch came really fast and the chairs had like a quite a while lead time. So those two chairs finally came. So then now all we're waiting on is Theo's bed and his bed is so cute. I'm so excited about his room. I think it's turning out so adorable and just very Theo. Um, then I just hung out with Girlie and then I watched more Bridgerton. I think this day I watched like one or two more episodes. I had not, I didn't read the second book before watching this season but I will read the second book and probably finish the rest of the books before the next season comes out that's what I'm thinking so this will probably be the final season that I don't I hadn't already watched I hadn't already read the book before I watched the season so I just wanted to have one more season where I was like kind of in bliss um I will say no spoilers though I don't I, I don't know I didn't really lo I don't know I don't love the way the books are written and I like the side stories more than the actual main like love story and I feel like most of the side stories are like made up in the tv show so a lot of it isn't even in the books unless they're like setting the scene for future books I don't know but I'm going to read them anyways just because I feel like I'm in too deep. But also not, but like I'm here, I might as well. And they're like really easy reads. Like I read like slow and not well and I can finish them in a week or less. So, or at least the first one. So I'm assuming I can finish the rest of them really fast too. So there's not going to be that much of a time um, commitment on my part. Anyways, I watched one or two episodes this day and then I took a shower and then my belly was hurting bad this night. So I went ahead and put that in. On Wednesday, I was up super early um I have been well, like this week especially because I know I had so much to do normally if I wake up in the middle of the night like I go back to sleep but this week I just kind of like stayed up because I had so much stuff to do so I would wake up at like three four five and just stay up and like just get things done so this day I was up super early and we had to go to work again I don't remember why I think we just took packages so we went to work and we did get velvet taco, which is delicious. Um, I usually just get the burger taco. And if I'm like feeling super hungry, I'll get, they have a, or they used to, I haven't had in a while, the like Korean chicken one. I think it's chicken, it has like corn on it. Maybe I don't remember, but it's good. I also like the flank steak one. I actually really like all of them for the most part. So I love velvet taco. Then uh, we went to Target I think we went, we call it Brian and Kirsten's Target. It's the Target's that's like, it's actually not the closest Target to Brian and Kirsten. It's not the t closest Target to me. It was like the closest Target to my like second slash first apartment when we lived here. And that's honestly like the nicest, biggest, like not very busy Target. So I was really like going there because it's like, I don't know, it's bigger. Like my Target closest to me is like, I think it's like newer and like updated in quotes but it's like smaller, but it's like fine if you just need something like quick, but if you want to peruse the other targets, nice, it's just far away, but it's like close to where we take packages, so it's not a huge deal, um, so we did that, and then I just cuddled the boys, and then for dinner this week, we were just trying out a bunch of like new slash places that we don't normally get for to go, I had skipped HelloFresh, I'm so tired, it is seven o'clock, we've been going to bed really early too, like nine, um 
was I talking about? I've been trying different places to eat this week because I didn't get HelloFresh. So I was like, we're doing takeout because I have so much work to do and we're leaving next week. So this day we got Wayback Burger, which was fine. Um, I liked it better than some burger places I've had, but it's not like a favorite. And then I cut the boys' hair this night. It was like long overdue. I just cut Bennett and Theo's. They weren't like bad at all as far as like how they ended up looking. Like some of the past ones have been really funny, but these ones were good. And then uh, we just took a shower and I entertained them. Like we have like this like shaving cream stuff that they play with. It's like shaving cream soap that's colored for kids. They have these little like vials that look like um like potion bottles and they like to like put stuff in it like the soap and then put water in it and they like think it's the funnest thing in the whole world so we did that after their shower to also get like all the hair off of them and then I watched Bridgerton this night and I stayed up so late and I just binged the rest of the episodes it was either I think it was like five or I think it was five episodes or six I'm not sure but it was a lot of episodes but I was like one more episode, one more episode, and I think I stayed up to like two in the morning, which is probably the longest I've stayed up in like forever, like actually forever, maybe like whenever I was giving birth, I stayed up this late, but otherwise even before that, I don't even know, so I finished that, and like I said, it was fine, it's like, it's all just so like cringy, but it's like, you're like watching, and like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, it's not like, award-winning like gonna change your life but it's like entertaining so I'm gonna continue watching and reading so there's that on Thursday I had McDonald's for lunch so I put that in and then I went on a Walmart run or this is Thursday is it Wednesday Thursday I don't know I went on a Walmart run because I was bored and I got the boys some new toys as well as coloring stuff I just got like one toy I was gonna put it in their Easter baskets but they saw it and I was like, it's really not a big deal. And then I got them some new crayons to add to their crayon collection. And then uh, like a, they had like a really big, like one of those mega Crayola bluey coloring pads. So I picked that up. And then I also wanted to try out some Walmart wax, which I did haul maybe like two weeks ago, like maybe the Saturday after this like is live. Does that mean, or not live, but like after this week happened. I hauled it. I actually did melt the cotton candy, like a cube of it, and it is very powerful. I used one cube, which I've been doing the less is more technique with wax, and I think it's been working out for the most part, and I've just, like, been switching it out more often, and then I also just feel like I need, like, maybe a couple of warmers, like, elsewhere, um, but I tried that out, and it smelled really good. It smelled a little bit more, like, creamy and less sweet than most cotton candies I've smelled, but I kind of really liked it. Um, it was way more powerful than I thought it would be based on like a cold smell. So really excited about that. And then for dinner, we got, it's like cotton patch something. I don't remember. We actually had it tonight and they like basically forgot like half of our food. We got it through DoorDash. So you could just like click a button and like say like what they didn't like give you, which was basically half of our order. And then they refund you. But it was kind of like a bummer because they have cornbread and we've wanted like that well there's just other place it's actually like a taco place that has cornbread but it's really really good like top notch so um we'll probably just get it from there whenever we have like a craving for it but we wanted to try their cornbread and that was one of the things they forgot this time so not like a huge deal but still whenever you're hungry for something and pick that place because of it it's kind of annoying then this is like when Nick and I started playing games like board games with each other we realized that there's not a lot of like two-player board games or maybe I just don't know about them so let me know in the comments down below and I'm sorry I sound like this again it's really really sad for me too so we started playing games and we'd be playing games now too if I just like don't want to just I just like at night now I just want to watch like half an episode of 90 day and then go to sleep that's literally all I want to do with my life right now. I'm just beat. And also probably like also beat from like Disney too. Anyways, started playing games this night. So we played Blockus, which is one of my favorite games. I've realized um, and we, re we found out also that they make a Blockus that's two player, which is nice because the original Blockus you could play with two players, but it's kind of like hard to like keep track of in your brain because you're 
kind of all over the place, but it's kind of, it is different than Block is for Two Players, which we did buy. Um, if you like like puzzle games, it's a really nice one. Um, and also quick games and games you could play with two to four players. You can get the two to four player one and play with two people. Um, but like I said, I th- I don't know. There are two different gameplays depending on which one you have and even for two people. But I really like it and it's probably my favorite quick game. So there's that and I always beat Nick. Always beat Nick at Blockus because he he's not a strategy kind of person or a think ahead kind of person. He likes games that rely a lot more on luck and I hate games that rely a lot more on luck so this game is not really a lot of luck it's just mostly competition and thinking ahead so love Blockus and then we also played Uno which is my least favorite game ever um Uno and um is it Parcheesi I don't know Nick's parents I think it's Parcheesi always love playing Parcheesi I think Parcheesi is so annoying and boring But Uno is my least favorite game and we played it a bunch of times and I don't mind it. I just think I have like bad memories. So it's kind of like fireworks. Like I'm re-warming up to the idea of fireworks and I feel like they just have like family negative connotation where I grew up in a family of six and for game night we like rotated who got to pick and I would say five out of six. So everybody but me almost always picked Uno. So I just feel like I was unoed out as a child. Same thing with fireworks. Like during the 4th of July, we would go to so many fireworks and there was no opportunity to sit them out. So I just feel like I just like didn't, I hate like, or I just don't like fireworks. I did go see fireworks with Bennett, which I feel like was a completely, like well, this is the second time we've seen him with Bennett, but it's the first time that he's like knowing what's like really going on. Like he's like a real big little kid. Um, but I just feel like I've seen so many fireworks, like, and forced to watch them that I was just like, ugh, fireworks, like, I just, and then also, like, in the beginning of my adult years, it was just, like, annoying because, like, they just keep my kids up at night on the 4th of July, so it was never a really fun time, so anyways, that's why I don't like Uno, but I played it with Nick, and it was, like, fine, I think it'd be fun to play it with the kids and, like, make new memories with it, so play that and then we also play monopoly bid this night which we had never played before but i know a lot of people really like monopoly bid and it's a very fun game to play with two players i feel like a lot of games when you play them with two players like these like more like popular games are like not as fun or like i don't know like it's hard to explain but monopoly bid i feel like really works for two players and it is another quick game like you could play within like 10 to 15 minutes but it's super fun because I also love Monopoly but I don't have the capacity to sit down and play a whole game of Monopoly most of the times and also I feel like Monopoly is a game that's not super fun with two people uh, but not Monopoly bid is so we had to like read the rules and we watched I'm like the person and I don't know let me know if you know if it, let me know your like situation down below but anytime I play a new game, I watch YouTube videos on it because I literally, like, when I look at directions, I don't, like, there. I don't get anything from it. Like, I could read them 1,600 times. I need somebody to, like, read it to me, basically, and then, like, show me as they're doing it. Let me know if you are like that as well. If you have never um, looked up directions for a board game and that sounds like something that you like, there's so many good videos. But we actually did watch another video explaining for a different game I'll talk about later but really love Monopoly bid um on Friday it was April Fool's Day which I put in because I actually got like I was like oh I got like fooled um it was like a true for like um ad for like carrots or something and I was like that's weird but I was kind of like I, it was funny because it was like that's weird slash gross but also like if they were coming out with it like somebody has to think it tastes good so I was like huh and then I was reading the comments and I was like oh it's April Fool's but I usually don't get tricked but that one was like it got me but I was also like if they're coming out with it like somebody must have thought it was a good idea anyways then for lunch we had Monopoly bit again because we were so like addicted and like excited to play it and then we just hung out as a family and for dinner this night we got Hop Dottie which we haven't gotten in a long time but it is so good. I got the buffalo chicken sandwich I don't know if I've ever gotten I don't remember there being a chicken sandwich actually maybe there's a grilled chicken one before that was like 
letters, but not a BLT, but something else. I don't remember. Um, but I got that and I got a regular burger and then we got the truffle fries, which their fries are so good. And Nick got a milkshake and Nick was like, that milkshake was amazing. I don't think I tried it because he like was like, you want to try this? And I was like, sure. And then he told me what it was and I was like, nah, I think it was like mint something, something, something crazy. And I was like, I'm good. Then we watched Jersey Shore Family Vacation, which is like basically all that was on right now. Um, I think we, I think before the 90 day was wrapping up this week maybe, or maybe wrapping up the next week, maybe it was Teleport 1 this week and Teleport 2 the next week, I don't remember, but we don't have a lot of shows on, which we realize that we don't have a lot of shows on at all, like, we don't watch very much that's, like, current, I feel like everything that we watched together ended, like, we used to watch Modern Family and, like, Superstore, I don't even know what else we watched together, I think you might have watched True Blood and me, I'm not sure, but I feel like we either, like, st- I, like, I stopped watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I think he still watches it, or if it's still on, I don't even know. But I thought it started to get boring. Or we, like, stopped, just stopped watching things. But all we have now is 90 Day in Jersey Shore, and that's it. I think that's all we're watching. Um, so we watched that. Then we played games again. We played um, 90 Day Guess Who, which I caught him for Christmas, which basically I just bought. And I think they do this for, like, other, like, fandoms, too. You could buy, like, um, Guess Who cards with, like, the characters or the people from 90 Day. And then you can just buy them for a specific, like, they show you the, like, the code of, like, what game it is. Because there's, like, different Guess Who's that have different size, like, slots. So, um, we played that, which was a little bit harder than you'd think it was. Because we're, like, in, like, if it was something physically, we're, like, in the picture or, like, in the current season. Because, like, if they dyed their hair, cut their hair they like wear glasses don't wear glasses or like even facts like when they were on the show or like things that we know or things that are rumored like it was a little hard but it was still fun and then we played racco which is another fun game another quick game it's something that nick's parents play um and it's another game that i think you could play up to four people but it is still pretty fun with two it's not as fun um but it's still fun another one that has a little bit of a luck element, but is a lot of strategy. Then we tried playing Disney Color, which was really hard. Um, another one that's not as exciting for two people, um, but I, we were talking and we were like, if Kirsten was here, we'd pick Kirsten because basically it's like, if you haven't ever heard of it, which we had to like watch a video on it, it's basically just like asking questions about like the color of something and it'll be something like really obscure that you wouldn't notice or like we wouldn't like um scar's mane or timon's hair or like and there are also things that you think you know and you th- you're like oh orange but then it's actually red and you're like what um i feel like something cursed would be really really good at drink break and then also we played monopoly bid because it's just so good and so fast if you don't have it it's like under ten dollars i think you should definitely pick it up if you like monopoly or you like card games Um, Or if you know somebody who does, that'd be a cute, like, a little add-on gift or stocking stuffer. Thinking about Christmas already. It's only April. I'm starting to do my Christmas mood boards probably, like, next week. I need to get those and Halloween ones done because I'll start commissioning Halloween and Christmas art probably end of May. So, I need to start working on those. I already have my ideas done, but I just need to, like, write out, like, everything and get reference pictures and the colors and all that stuff. So, yeah. On Saturday, um, I got Starbucks and we just hung out in bed as a family and just like watch iPads, played switches, hung out. And then we went to the outlets. We went a little bit earlier than the open and just walked around and played in the playground area that they have. And then we decided to go to Crocs because I don't remember why. I think we, Bennett was saying that his shoes were a little bit too small, so we wanted to get the neck size up to have those whenever his feet are actually, like, too big for his shoes. And then we also got Theo a new pair of Crocs, um, like, Star Wars ones, which are really cute. And then Nick wanted a new pair of Crocs because he, like, wears his Crocs inside. So now he has outside Crocs, too. It's so funny because he, like, would never buy Crocs. And I was like, baby, they're the best thing ever. And... And then he bought Crocs and now he wears Crocs 24 7. Like he keeps them by his bed and if he goes up to go to the bathroom, he puts his Crocs on. 
I'm just like, I know what's good. Just trust me one day. So he got Crocs and then I got Lila her first pair of Crocs. Obviously, she just doesn't fit them, but whenever she does, they're so, so cute. I got her little glittery ones and then I think I got her like lilac ones, which are really cute. So we did that and then on the way home, we picked up In-N-Out for lunch and then I went home and I made bread because I was making chicken noodle soup for dinner because I love chicken is the best and this day I made the world's best bread I think it was well not the world's best this was my best bread that I ever made and I followed a different recipe so I was like saving this forever but it's super easy like I just never knew how easy it was to make bread especially if you have a stand mixer like oh and it's so tasty so I made bread I think it was my best loaves yet and then I also made brownies, like the ones where you swirl in cream cheese. I could care less about them. Nick really wanted them. And then I think he realized that they're not as good as the nostalgia he remembered. Because I think his sister used to make them. So I made those. I mean, we ate them all over like a couple of days. But like yeah, brownies, regular, are fine. Then my in-laws came over and I, like I said, I made that soup. And that soup was so good. I did, I posted on Instagram that I tried, sorry, if you can hear the car, um, I tried the Magnolia recipe, which is like the Chip and Joanne recipe for chicken noodle soup, and it was just so bizarre that they only did salt and pepper, like, it just blew my mind, I was like, nothing, like, I've read a lot of chicken noodle soup recipes, like, I've went through and tried so many, and I've never come across one that is just salt and pepper in my entire life, and I did a poll, and there are a lot of people who just use salt and pepper, and I'm going to tell you, it's not a vibe. I did it to the recipe and then I like tried it and I was like, this is bland and boring. Um, so I quickly doctored it kind of at the end. This was a different time. And then this time I went back to my original chicken soup recipe. But something I did that was different because I was watching, I watch a lot of cooking videos. I probably watch the most cooking videos out of anything. Um, but I was watching a video where somebody mentioned putting your dry spices and like thyme rosemary stuff like that whenever you're like doing like your vegetables like you know saute your vegetables in the beginning to put it in then like right before you add your broth but like still like give them a second to like mix with the oil and the heat because it's supposed to like open up the like aromas and the spices rather than before I had been just putting them in to the liquid which is what the recipe said so I tried it the opposite way and I think it really did a lot like I was so amazed um so now I just feel like I perfected the chicken noodle soup it is tasty 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 the bread was amazing it was honestly probably my favorite dinner I've ever made and there's something about making a meal and like being so proud of it and it just being so good that like makes me so happy like I don't know what it is but like it's a simple things for me. So then we played Block of Stew because I did order that on Amazon and it was fun. And then we also played Unstable Unicorns, which I also did order on Amazon because it is very highly rated. Um, that was another one we needed to uh, YouTube how to play it. And I think it's going to be more like exciting and enjoyable with a lot of people. It is a very like a lot of reading. You have to like read all the cards, but Nick really likes it because he remi reminds him of Yu-Gi-Oh, which he's been playing Yu-Gi-Oh on his Game Boy. Like, well, prior to this, a lot he was playing it, um, and he loves playing like those kind. There's like I don't remember what the <sighs> he plays like another game on his phone that's very similar, but it's like it's like a battling game, but like that where you pick like b like things and like damage is done type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, but, like, it's a different one. Something the Fire or something. I don't remember. Anyways, so he liked that, and he's, like, really excited to play it again, but I think it would be a lot more fun with a lot of people. On Sunday, I was up early and just, like, took care of Lila, and I went and got Starbucks, and then I went to work early this day. Um, then I just cuddled Bennett on the couch, and then uh, Nick went and got his hair cut. It looked so good. He still had purple hair then. Now his hair is yellow, but he's going to go get a haircut soon because I think he needs to be on the every three weeks because it starts looking crazy after that. We had golden chick for lunch, which was also so good. I love their roasted chicken. It is so tasty for being like quote unquote fast food, basically. Um, then this day, Brian and the kids came over, Avery and Reagan. Kirsten was like working and stuff. So I still use like the Brian, Kirsten, Avery, Reagan like sticker, but 
Krasinski play day either way. Um, so they just played, we got McDonald's and Jersey Mike's for the adults. Or maybe we got McDonald's and then we got Jersey Mike's later. Or maybe we got Jersey Mike's then. Honestly, I don't remember. We had Jersey Mike's at some point. And then we just watched 90 Day before the 90 Day. Which I realize is my favorite of all the 90 Days. Because there's a lot more drama. Um, 90 Day, they have like engaged and I've already filed for K1 and got it. So it's like they're kind of believable. Still some drama. But not as much drama as before the 90 day, which is just so funny and interesting. And this season was an actual train wreck. So it was a good one. Um, right now, 90 day is on, which is exciting, but not as exciting. So that is everything for this spread. And I hope you like it. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.